team 14 our project is android control remote tennis ball collector the name of our project is to remotely control a tennis ball collector using an android mobile so we'll have a demo of it this is our android application there are two modes in it manual and automatic in the manual mode we can give controls to the board this for moving forward backward left and right in the autonomous mode the bot tries to detect the ball in the frame using image processing done on android mobile so until it finds a ball it rotates to left 3 degrees then after detecting the ball it tries to uh, adjust it such that the ball uh, comes to the center after detecting it moves forward and when the ball comes in the range Moves and it pick up. <laughs> just seen the demo of the Firebird bot. I'll just explain the silent features of the bot. Uh, the environment from the bot is captured by a IP camera and it's transmitted to Android mobile. The Android mobile capture downloads the video stream from its respective IP, then uh, takes a snapshot of it at regular intervals, processes it, and then checks for whether the presence of checks for the presence of ball if the ball is not present it will take a 3 degree left turn if it is present it will try to adjust to the center and go forward so once and send the signals appropriately to the bot and this bot will receive the signals and act accordingly now yeah now once the distance between the bot and the ball reaches is 10 centimeters the bot will automatically pick the ball so now this is what is done it happens in the autonomous mode but once we come to the manual mode the user can manually give the directions forward backward or any, any other left or direct le right direction using the ui present on the android mobile coming to the ui and coming to the future enhancement of the project uh, one of the enhancement which we can do is currently we are using bluetooth communication in order to communicate from the android mobile to the bot this can be replaced by a wi-fi shield this makes it completely wirelessly remotely controlled so the, completely Wi-Fi controlled. Uh, so one more enhancement which we can do is uh, improve the UI. The current UI uses some buttons but it can be replaced by joystick which gives a very good feel and control over the bot. The key challenges faced in the project, setting up of OpenCV environment for Android and Windows itself is a major challenge. So we have tried various other links and the set of instructions which worked out for us are mentioned in a project report. The one more challenge which we faced is the positioning of the gripper arm, the sensors and the camera. So finally we have come up with this uh, adjustment which works fine. We had to increase the length of the gripper arm, play, remove, place the sensors on the camera and place the camera in front of the bot. Future enhancements for our project. What Currently we are using Bluetooth communication module for Android mobile to communicate with the bot. So this can be replaced with a Wi-Fi shield. So this makes a bot completely wireless, I mean it can be controlled by much further distance.